After facing severe backlash over its latest SL72 ad campaign featuring Bella Hadid, Adidas has found themselves in a very worrying situation that led to a drastic decline in sales in the U.S. And this situation they are currently in is forcing them to knock on some doors that they already shut down for help. And that's none other than Ye's door, which apparently they are desperately knocking on, hoping for an answer. Well, it's actually interesting to see this finally happening because a lot of people had already predicted that it could happen that Adidas would beg Ye for another partnership. And they say that for a lot of reasons, some because they were facing losses with having let him go and other many other reasons. But shockingly, it looks like after all, this advert they recently created ended up being the, the reason they would go back running to Ye because he's the only one who can save them right now. So after the advert got out, Adidas faced a lot of backlash, but mostly it was the devastating boycott in their crucial US market, with sales plummeting and public outrage reaching a fever pitch, and since Ye is one of the fashion giants in the US, then they know that the answer to their problem only lies in him. And I mean, this isn't just coming out of nowhere because they know how great they had it when he was still working with them, because not only did he make billions of dollars for them, but he also also introduced them to the U.S. market. Adidas's chief executive in 2016 said that the collaboration with Kanye West has elevated our brand perception in the U.S. and beyond. It has really set the stage for strong double-digit growth for 2016. We want to keep on releasing the Yeezy trainers and to build on the momentum they've given us in the market. The shoe is making Adidas stand for something unique. That's not all because they also say just recently that the Adidas Yeezy partnership is one of the most successful collaborations in our industry's history. So with all that and how much he helped them get on the map of the U.S. market, they have a couple of options to salvage their scandal but they know that nothing will ever work like Ye would and it's said by the insiders that they are offering him a way better deal and better percentage than he had when they first worked with him because they are ready for anything else but not to lose the US market because thanks to Ye they had managed to get a lot of clientele there well at this point I know for a fact that deep inside they already feel like letting him go was one of the worst decisions they've ever made when it comes to business because they let him go because of his anti-Semitic comments knowing that that was his end of his career. But for their shock, he was just getting started and they can't wrap their heads around the fact that they made that decision. Alright guys, if you're still locked in, don't forget to like my video and subscribe on my channel and also tell me what you think about Adidas and their proposal to get EA back to save them from the backlash that is almost having them lose their US market. Do you think it's a good idea? And in case you live under a rock, that backlash all came about when they decided to use Bella Hadid, a pro-Palestinian model, to model for their shoes. They were introduced in the 1972 Munich Olympics, in which 11 Israel people were unalived by a Palestinian group called Black September. So this obviously rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, and Adidas first backlash from the model herself, who even said she would pursue, she would pursue legal action from the Israel people and mainly the whole US. That's not all though, because even the Israel government did react where they say that Adidas recently launched a new campaign for their shoes to highlight the 1972 Munich Olympics. 11 Israels were deleted by Palestinian terrorists during the Munich Olympics. Guess who the face of their campaign is? Bella Hadid, a half Palestinian model who has a history of spreading anti-Semitism and calling for violence against Israelis and Jews. She she and her father frequently promote blood labels, labels and anti-Semitic conspiracies against Jews. Adidas chose Bella Hadid as the face of that campaign. Critics then demanded that she be removed, which Adidas did later remove her. Now, this has sparked a whole lot of conversation about whether it was appropriate for her to ever be the face of the campaign uh, or whether it was appropriate for her to be removed from the campaign. Mehdi Hassan recently commented that it was actually an act of racism to remove her from the campaign. That you cannot advertise a sneaker associated with the 1972 Olympics because Palestinians carried out acts of terror at those Olympics. The only thing you can say they have in common 
is that they're Palestinian, which is the definition of bigotry. It's the definition of racism, right? And just like that, a lot of people immediately jumped on the plan to boycott Adidas, especially online, where one person said that boycott Adidas, with another one saying that, yeah, I'm done with Adidas. And the third one said that Adidas needs to get out of business. So anyways, now that we have seen they want to turn all this around by using Ye, then what are the chances that he will accept their request? Now, now, on any other day, Ye would not agree to get back with Adidas because he has always made it clear that he wants his own independence and to work alone and be his own boss. But I actually think now that he may be tempted to accept this deal because he is also having a hard time running Yeezy single-handedly. And it's not because he can't get customers or something, but it's just because the demand is too much for him to handle alone. Get this, Ye has been operating for a while ever since he cut ties with Adidas. And even with a very small number of products, I mean, he only has the EasyPod sneakers, but he can't satisfy all his customers. Like most of y'all have noticed already, this his website is currently not receiving any orders because they're currently working on the orders which have been there for months. So in a few words, he has a big market, too big to handle by himself, which puts him in a position to possibly want to work with Adidas again because however much they're struggling they have all the resources they have all the money they have all the factories and stores which he desperately needs to have his business run smoothly because even before the whole thing with Adidas happened he was already looking for investors to invest in his business because the way it is now it would be very hard for him to sustain it for long so do I think that Ye would take Adidas back yes I do think so but I also I also think that he wouldn't settle for anything. I believe he would ask for a way bigger cut now and to have more freedom when he gets to the creative part, which are some of the issues that he had before he left. Also, let's not forget that Ye had a big problem with Adidas recently when he got to them selling the remaining shoes which were present when they abruptly ended the deal, where Adidas convinced the people that they had an agreement with Ye and he was getting paid off of the shoes. But Ye came out publicly saying the total opposite, where he said that he was never paid and that they were even creating more shoes and disguising them as Yeezys. And on top of that, he also said that they were suing him for $250 million. So while I do think that there is a possibility of him taking them back, at the end of the day, it all comes down to him and how they treated him to decide if he can take them back. And also, this is here we're talking about here. He's one unpredictable man. So we shall expect to see what comes out of this possibility in the coming days. As for the public, they have mixed thoughts about it, where some are anticipating for it and others want him to stay working for himself, while others say that they will never buy again from Adidas until Ye makes a turn. This person say that I will not buy Adidas until Ye says he's back. Care to let me know what you think of this? Do you see Yeezy and did Adidas? Do you see Yeezy and Adidas working together for another time? Tell me what you think in the comment section, and also don't forget to subscribe on my channel to keep updated.